All right, so for my reviews, I use Sony Vegas Pro 10 for editing and putting all the footage together. As you can see, I have created a default template under which I have my introduction. I also have the, the actual name of the review. This is uh, all in different layers. And I have my watermark on the bottom right hand corner. So the very first thing after I shoot the review is I import all the footage onto my computer. As you can see here, everything is organized by folders from my previous reviews. So I don't get confused of where all the footage is. So for this example, I am doing the SteelSeries 6 GV2 mechanical gaming keyboard review. As you can see here, this is all the material that I have shot with the camera, all the pictures and all the video. One of the first things I do is I import all the video into the timeline. Now, because my type of use is voiceovers, I do not need this bottom layer, which is the audio recorded by the built-in microphone. So we can just delete that. As you can see, I have approximately seven minutes of footage. And the final review is about three and, and 16 seconds. So that's how large, the, how, that's how long the review is going to be. So one of the first things I do is I look at all the footage and I think of the layout of how I will showcase the product, how I can showcase the, the actual, the initial box where it comes from. Then I do all the stuff that comes with the box. And that is usually done with the pictures. And I just uh, overlay one image on top of another and to create that nice fading in effect of all the things that are coming in. And this is just an example of how it's done. As you can see here, this is the initial picture. Then I have another one. And between there, you can see this is the fade in effect. And that's how it's done. Just four pictures put in together. Very simple. As you can see here, I did a little mistake because this is a little bit dark. And this is the final shot. Let's go back to the very first default project. So here I have all the footage uh, imported into my computer. And then I cut it depending on how I want the review to look. And uh, once everything is done and I cut out all the parts that I don't need and I position all the footage and it's uh, the way it's supposed to be, I start to work with effects. So one of the things I keep in mind while putting all the footage together and cutting it a uh, specific length and I have this layer above it, which is currently muted, but this is my text layer, which allows me to uh, know exactly what I will say during the video playback. And that is recorded with my microphone uh, live while I play the review. So this would be playing and this would be recorded uh, onto the actual footage. Once I record myself for all the voiceovers and then start to add effects. One of the drawbacks to Sony Vegas is that it does not utilize all the hardware inside your machine. So you cannot really run it smooth at full 1080p resolution. Uh, with all the effects. So I have to preview it in a quarter of its quality. So that's why I add effects in the end to avoid all the lagging. One of the effects that I add for all my videos is the soft contrast effect, which adds nice vignetting corners. And as you can see here, I have created num numerous uh, templates for different types of footages. Of course, I can create new ones depending on the shot. But let's say we take this one for this particular example. As you can see, the shot is now different and I can configure different settings like the contrast, uh, the tint and the correction hue, which uh, allows me to actually uh, change up the actual color of the shot, which is very useful technique if the shot does not look like you want it to look. Another effect I add is I sharpen the actual video quality. I sharpen it 5 to 10% depending on the quality of the image. Um, and that adds a nice sharpened video quality to the actual video. And one more thing I add is I add a little bit more light, depending on the shot, like I said earlier, here, for example, it's a little bit dark. So yeah, I would add a little more light, and it would highlight all the whites, and just makes the shot much uh, better in terms of lighting. One of the techniques they also use is I do uh, fade ins between between the two footages, and that just a cross fade effect for the shots. And they also sometimes have a fade in effect prior for the next footage, like just like this. So this is the final review. This is how uh, it looks 
like with all the voiceovers. The voiceover track is this one right here. Uh, and then I add a music playback at the background to add a nice uh, soothing music for the review. And this is all my text for the one that I have to say during the review. And then I render it and post it on YouTube. If you guys have any questions on uh, if on Sony Vegas, I have much experience with it. Please leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more. To be updated on the latest product feedback videos, make sure that you have subscribed.